Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about chapter 5 of Richard Hughes that is knowledge of medicine. Introduction. The best definition was put forth by Hahnemann in Fragmenta de Verbis Medicamentorum de Positivis is medicines nourish the body and health is maintained or a small quantity ingested. It makes the sick patient come back into a state of health. This change produced is called a medicine. There are two ways to arrive to any medicine. There is, that is empirical and rational. First is the empirical method. That is selection of remedy. Prescribing most of the medicinal uses are found just by chance or luck. Many of the professional healers have adopted this sort of practice. Example, Sincona for egg, fever, spongia for goiter, sulfur for age, etc. This method is uncertain. Rational method. Selection of remedy is done by the process of drug proving. The only trustworthy source is by proving the medicines on healthy human beings. Third point is theory of proving on animals is rejected. Dr. Hahnemann rejected the theory of proving on animals as the effects of drugs are different on animals and on man. Therefore, example given is pig which can ingest large quantities of nux vomica without injury and yet men have been killed with 15 grains. You cannot obtain subjective symptoms from animals. We cannot find the mental symptoms of a person in disease which should be correspond to drug symptoms which were obtained by drug proving. Fourth point, Dr. Richard Hughes says that observation in field of poisoning. Poisonings are limited to a small class of drugs which have the virulence to produce such effects. It induces more violent disturbances. The most mortem, that is the post mortem changes, can show the induced changes when proved on an animal. It helps us the, to obtain the similarity of seat between drug action and disease. Thus, records of poisonings and works on toxicology have been always largely employed from Hahnemann's downwards. Fifth point, Dr. Richard Hughes talks about the dose of medicines in knowledge of medicine. Overdosing in practice in traditional medicine. The object of antipathic and allopathic medicines are to produce large physiological actions of the drugs and development of collateral effects. Whereas homeopathy deals with infinitesimal dose, law of similia, that is law of simple single minimum dose. Sixth point, Dr. Richard Hughes talks about the experiments. Dr. Hahnemann gave its practical application and was successful in proving a total 99 drugs in his lifetime. It was given in the Fragmenta and first volume of first edition of Rain, Arzener, Methaleran. In 5th edition of Organon, Hahnemann recommends that the provings to be made with the 30th dilution as it yields best results. Substances which were inert in their crude state were roused into activity by this specular process of dynamization. The mode of present of proving of Dr. Hahnemann was done in anatomical schema preceding from head to extremities and ending with generalities and physical phenomena. So, the summary of Dr. Hughes' knowledge of medicine is, it talked about the experiments of Hahnemann, provings done by Hahnemann and not in animals and the doses we should give to the patient. Hoping so you have understood my explanation through this my notes. Thank you for watching.